today we're taking a look at these MLB matches, which are happening on Saturday, July 23, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 360 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Going back to our video we will give you two betting picks for each game, a team pick and a total pick based on facts and detailed explanation. So make sure to watch our videos till the end so you don't miss any of our picks. Pittsburgh Pirates vs Miami Marlins. For the win. And here is why. If there's any postseason hope left for the Marlins, it's fading quickly. The Marlins opened up the second half of the season with an 8-0 loss to the Texas Rangers on Thursday. They entered Friday 9th in the NL and six games out of the final wild card spot. Miami did snap its four-game losing streak on Friday by taking care of the Pirates, but they need to be able to carry that momentum and get another win on Saturday if they want to keep pace for a potential wild card spot. Brian Reynolds leads the club with 15 home runs and is tied with Michael Chavez with 32 RBI. 25-year-old Key Brian Hayes, 4HR, 28 RBI, 10 SB, 24-year-old Diego Castillo, 10 HR, 25 RBI, and 23-year-old Anil Cruz, 4HR, 17 RBI, 4 SB, are all key pieces of the Pirates' young core, as the franchise is dealing with growing pains. The offense is 28th scoring 3.6 runs per game, batting .221 which is 29th and 15th with 98 home runs. The odds makers had both teams at minus 105 on the money line when this line was released. Although it's tough to have a ton of confidence in either club, I will lean on the Marlins. Miami has more to play for right now. They have also won 8 of their last 10 road games and 14 of their last 18 against losing ball club. The Pirates have dropped 5 of their last 6 games against losing clubs and could be making more trades of veterans soon. Our total pick is over 9 runs. New York Yankees vs Baltimore Orioles. Our team pick is New York Yankees for the win. And here is why. The Yankees nearly gave it away on Friday. They were up by four runs late into the opener before a three-run homer by Anthony Santander put the Orioles within one run of tying the game. Of course, the Yankees relievers clamped down in the end and snuffed out any hope the Orioles had left. That's something Jerry Cole has a long history of doing to opposing teams when towing the rubber. The veteran righty is throwing a 3.02 ERA and 0.98 whip on the season. He dazzled in his last outing against the Boston Red Sox after completely dominating and holding the Cincinnati Reds scoreless. It's the price they've paid more than once in their 14 games against the Yankees. They're 4-10 in these head-to-head -head meetings and they've lost the last three games. It'll be an uphill battle to get a win on Saturday in a game that'll pit New York's Jared Cole against Baltimore's Jordan Lyles, 4.76 ERA. The last time we saw Lyles on the mound, he was enduring a meltdown against the Tampa Bay Rays. Granted, he does have one victory over the Yankees this season, but his previous two run-ins with the team ended in defeats. Could this possibly be the game where he evens things up? The Yankees might be dominating in these head-to-head -head meetings with the Orioles, but it hasn't been an easy feat for any team to win at Oriole Park this season. Baltimore has a 25-18 record when playing in their home building, and they've been playing with the sort of pride that could surprise even a juggernaut team like the Yankees. But can you really trust them to stave off New York's bats Jordan Lyles just got crushed by the Tampa Bay Rays in a game where he allowed six hits and six earned runs in 2.2 innings. The Yankees batting lineup is full of heavy hitters. They can literally ruin any inning at the plate with the offense averaging 1.70 home runs per game. And the Yankees will have Jared Cole starting at pitcher. The five-time MLB All-Star will be looking for sweet revenge against the Orioles for one of his only two losses of the season. This clearly isn't a Yankees team that's going to fall off a cliff in the second half of the season. They're still every bit as good as they were in the first half, and I have them improving to 2-0 in this series on Saturday. Our total pick is under 8, and here is why. Both pitching staffs have done good, but not great throughout the month of July, as the Orioles are 10th in the sport with a 3.46 ERA, while the Yankees are 17th with a 4.05 ERA thus far. Looking at the bullpens this season, New York is second in the majors with a 2.90 reliever ERA, while Baltimore is sitting at fourth in MLB with a 3.14 bullpen ERA up to this point. The under has hit in seven of the previous 10 games played in Camden Yards, so go with under eight runs in this game. Milwaukee Brewers vs Colorado Rockies. 
our team pick is Colorado Rockies win. And here is why. The Colorado Rockies play the second game of a three-game series on the road Saturday against the Milwaukee Brewers. Colorado is 43-50 and was defeated by the Pittsburgh Pirates 8-3 last Sunday prior to the break for the All-Star game. The law snapped a five-game winning streak for Colorado. The Rockies are fourth in the National League West, 19 games behind the first-place Los Angeles Dodgers. Shortstop Jose Iglesias is batting .301 to lead Colorado, while left fielder Connor Joe is the leader in on-base percentage .367. First baseman C.J. Cron has 21 home runs, 69 RBIs and 103 hits to lead Colorado in each category. On Saturday, the Colorado Rockies will send Jose Urena to the mound. The right-hander is 1-1 with a 2.05 ERA, 12 KS and 13 BBs. The Milwaukee Brewers are 50-43 following a 9-5 loss to the San Francisco Giants last Sunday. Check out to see how the teams are doing with our best baseball picks. Milwaukee opened its four-game series against San Francisco with a victory, but was defeated in each of the last three games of the series. The Brewers are first in the National League Central, but hold just a half-game lead over the second-play St. Louis Cardinals. Designated hitter Andrew McCutcheon's batting .255 to lead Milwaukee, while shortstop Willie Adames is the leader in home runs with 19, and first baseman Rowdy Tellez has a team-high 57 RBIs. Left fielder Christian Yelich is the leader in hits with 82 and on-base percentage at .347. On Saturday, the Milwaukee Brewers will send Brandon Woodruff to the mound. The right-hander is 7-3 with a 3.93 ERA, 84 KS and 21 BBs. Colorado had won five of its last six leading up to the All-Star game break, and the Rockies have won four of the last five against a right-handed starting pitcher. In three starts since being acquired by Colorado, right-hander Jose Urena has allowed just three runs on 17 hits across 18 T innings. Milwaukee has lost each of Brandon Woodruff's last two starts, and the right-hander has allowed five runs on nine hits across 11 T innings over that span. Our total pick is over 7.5 runs. And here is why. Both teams have been carried by their lineups this season, and the upcoming game should reflect that with both the Rockies and Brewers driving in runs throughout the game. The Rockies, who average 4.59 runs per game, should constantly plate base runners with CJ Cron, Charlie Blackmon, and the rest of the lineup making contact against Brandon Woodruff. The Brewers, who average 4.48 runs per game, should run up a score with Willie Adames, Rowdy Tellez, Christian Yelich, and the rest of the batting order making hard contact and powering the ball against the Rockies pitching staff to drive in runs at will. The over should cover in a high-scoring game controlled by both lineups.